In this video, we're going to go over React hooks. Hooks were added in React 16.8, and basically they allow us to use state and other React features without writing any classes. So this video will serve as a quick start for using use state and use effect. So I just have a simple Next.js project set up, and this is the code in index.js. And here you can see this running. Right now, the button does not do anything. What we're gonna do is add hooks that will allow us to hit this button and increment this counter. And also, on scroll, it will add the amount we scrolled to this value as well. And by understanding how to do both of those things, you understand how to use React hooks and you can accomplish a bunch of different tasks with it. The first thing we need to do is import use state and use effect to our project. And we import those from React. Next, right underneath our function, we can use the use state function. So to use this, we can say const. This will be an array. The first input is the value, so for us we can say count. And the second input is the method name that will allow us to do something and change this value. So we'll go ahead and name that set count. And that is equal to use state. And inside of here we can pass in the default or the starting value. Now this can be any type you want. In our case, we're using a count, so it will be an integer. We'll say zero. But this can also be a string. You can set it to a list like this. And you can do basically any uh, type of variable can be in here. But we're just gonna say zero. Now we can go down to the button and we want to add an on click listener and here we can simply invoke our set count method inside of here all we want to do is increment count by one and then we want to dynamically display that here so let's go ahead and remove this zero and replace it with count now if we go here and we hit move one spot you see the count increases. So that's how to use use state. Now we want to add use effect to that. So to use use effect, we're first going to invoke that method. So we'll say use effect. We use some error notation. And inside of here, we can add and remove some event listeners. So the event listener that we want is scroll. So we can say window dot add event listener scroll and on scroll we want to invoke a function and we'll call this handle scroll. And then we're going to return And we'll do the same thing in here, except we want remove event listener. Now let's go ahead and create this. We'll do that above here. So const handle scroll. And inside of here, again, we want to add the amount scrolled to the count. So we're going to call set count again. And inside of here, instead of adding one to the count, we're going to add the scroll y value. Now if we go back and let's test this out, I'll scroll and there we go. You see the values being added and our increment by one works as well. And that's it guys, that was a very quick introduction to hooks in React, and they're very powerful, so by just having that knowledge, you can do a lot of different things. But that's it for this video, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more videos like this.